Okay, this is a 40 pound bag of pool salt. That I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna add it to this uh, salt water pool right here. And this bag has a guideline already printed on here for adding salt to your size pool and how much salt you need to actually raise it to. And depending on your salt system will depend on how much salt you need to add. Most salt pools won't work unless the salt level is at least 30 to 200 parts per million. And you don't want to add salt in the winter. So in Southern California, I usually add salt from May through September. And I won't add any salt after that because the salt sales tend to not be as accurate when the pool water temperature drops. And make sure that you also don't add too much salt to your pool because it doesn't evaporate. So it's kind of hard to get rid of a pool that's too salty. You can drain down the pool and then add water. And mainly salt will dissipate with a lot of rain in your pool or a splash out. So generally I don't add too much salt to my pools all year. Uh, maybe one or two bags, if that, to my salt pools once they're fully charged. Before adding any salt to your salt water pool, check to make sure the salt cell is clean. Even if you're not getting any light saying that it's dirty or if the salt level is, doesn't look like it's dramatically low, always clean it and then check it the next day and that gives you a more accurate uh, salt level. Okay, and most salt systems will tell you when to add salt. Some will indicate the salt level on the display screen and they'll have lights that indicate when to add salt. I generally don't add salt after I clean the salt, so even if it's not flashing or if the salt level is showing low, I still like to clean it out before I add salt. You can also use these AquaCheck uh, strips to check the salt level if, you're, if your controller doesn't tell you how much salt's in your pool. Okay, you want to add the salt to the deepest part of the pool and you want to um, pour it so it's not piled up in one area. If you're adding more than one bag, two or three bags, spread it out across. And if you're charging a pool for the first time, you want to probably add, um, if it's like two or three hundred pounds, maybe break that up for a couple days. And one more thing about a new pool, if you have a salt system put in and a brand new plastic pool, I highly recommend you, you do not turn on the salt system or add salt for at least 90 days. Six months is actually better. Uh, I'm not sure if the manufacturer recommends that, but I found that the adding salt too early in the new plaster pool will ruin the plaster. I'm going to go ahead and pour the salt in, in the deep end. And I'll show you what it looks like in a few minutes after I pour it, how it dissipates. And you can see after about five minutes, most of that salt has already dissipated in the pool.